this is my Elliot lathe, which I was given very kindly by a gentleman near the railway which I helped at. Um, and I've recently seen one of these go at about £150 on eBay. So I was very pleased to have mine given to me. But I found it great help in uh, a lot of my early work in trying to get the fine stuff done and really just getting a grip of how a lathe work. And I found even now I still use it because when trying to do very fine taps, like these ones here from BA, which are only a couple of uh, centimeters wide, uh, millimeters wide, I find it's very helpful to have this because it it does very fine movements quite well, almost like a watchmaker's lathe, but not quite as precise. Um, I've got quite a lot of bits and bobs which go with it. Got a new compositor and plenty of things to help me out, which I've collected over time. You know, from it, from car boots and various things. I, I even picked up some uh, locomotive wheels, a car boot which I hope to use one day. No, along with my lathe, I was given this, which is a half-built uh, steam engine in two and a half inch gauge. I think it's a fine Scotsman, um, which is quite a common design. Which is, um, and I was, I've also got a boiler for it, which is uh, not a coal-fired boiler. It's uh, a gas sort of oil or oil-fired one, which I probably won't use if I do build it. I'll probably build a proper coal-fired one and use that. I prefer coal-fired as it you get proper sort of feeling of a real steam engine then. Um, so I've got that to sort of finish off. I've got this, which is a five inch riding truck, which I purchased off eBay um, a couple of months ago. And I've used that at Eaton Park, and it's very good because it's got um, disc brakes on each axle, which uh, mainly you could, when, the, when the brakes are applied, you can't move it. It's really very, well made and it's also designed so you can uh, ride on it on ground level and with skirts at raised level similar to riding railway sort of things but slightly more developed um, I've also got here a leg vice which I use for most sort of just sort of general cutting through bits and uh, general sort of metal work got a very good little uh, flat uh, vice here which I can use and we'll turn so I can hold little fine pieces for cutting and hand drilling and things like that. I've also got a grinder here which I can use for when I'm doing my uh, bits on my lathe, my uh, tools on my lathe. But I haven't got an uh, electrically powered one, I just use this one by hand. So if, you, so if I'm grinding off too much, my arm can start to wear out, you know. But I find that quite useful because it, it means I can decide the speed very carefully from how I want it. And I, I quite like using that because of that. Um, I've got plenty of bits and bobs, plenty of um, mechanical clamps. Three spare drilling vices. These ones are for the tender of the Flying Scotsman. And also an arrangement of sheet metal, which I was given with the uh, lathe of Flying Scotsman. Uh, and I've got plenty of sheet metal and brass and stuff, which are always really helpful when you try to do shims or anything like that. Uh, this is my uh, main drill which I use, good for heavy sort of stuff, uh, quite useful but 
it's uh, only we work from one speed the bearings are starting to go on it so it's uh, really good for if you've got a big piece of work that you want to drill through like a big bit of bar steel you can go through it so that it keeps it at a steady speed and it's quite um, stable too.